Now to the race for the White House. Ahead of tomorrow's primaries, campaigns focused on foreign policy as candidates stopped off in the Capitol. John Yang reports. Donald Trump spent today in the city he's railed against, Washington, D.C. One of his stops was just blocks from the Capitol, a midday closed-door meeting with a select group of Republicans, including former House Speaker Newt Gingrich. Trump made another stop to talk, this time on the record, to the Washington Post editorial board, unveiling his team of foreign policy advisors. Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions, who's endorsed Trump, will lead the group. Other names include a former Pentagon inspector general, an oil and energy consultant, and a retired Army lieutenant general who helped oversee Iraq after the U.S. invasion. In the afternoon, he warned Republicans who were vowing to stop him not to organize a third-party run. Well, a third party means that the Democrats are going to win, almost certainly. You can't be that spiteful. You can't be that spiteful because you'll destroy the country. Trump held his news conference at a hotel development in downtown Washington that allowed him to talk about the jobs he's creating and also show it off to the press. Trump's two remaining Republican rivals, Ted Cruz and John Kasich, were also in town and at the annual Please conference welcome. hosted by APAC, the pro-Israeli lobbying Kasich. group. It was the Democratic frontrunner, Hillary Clinton, who spoke first. She zeroed in on Trump, saying he couldn't be trusted. Yes, we need steady hands, not a president who says he's neutral on Monday, pro-Israel on Tuesday, and who knows what on Wednesday, because everything's negotiable. Well, my friends, Israel's security is non-negotiable. After the speech, Clinton headed to Arizona for campaigning. The only candidate to skip APAC? Bernie Sanders, the race's only Jewish candidate. He spent the day campaigning in Arizona, Idaho, and Utah, which hold contests tomorrow. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm John Yang.